Here we also see on our measurement trees with the dominant growth, lots of blind wood. Which is going to need to be notched. Blind wood or very little bud development, lateral shoot development on the sides. So once again, it's, these have been notched. So Kel's notching here, and as you can see, he's just running a hacksaw blade around the top of a, a bud, try and stimulate the bud to come away, and make, making sure that he actually goes about it, covers the whole distance of the of the bud. So maybe if you come in a bit, um, yeah, get a close up and go a bit slower, maybe, Cal. And All right, maybe try the next one. So he's, he's, he's Yep, Kel's doing about every third third bud. That was good. And a third away around the, the stem. But if these were thicker, you wouldn't be going a third away around the stem. You just gotta make sure that you cover the whole of the just above the entire bud. That was probably yeah. good. So the idea is that you cut into the, yeah, to the yeah, into the cambium, just into the. Um, so you hit the hardwood, don't you? You can feel the yeah. when you're rubbing it. You go through the soft material, and then you hit the inner wood, and that's the depth you want to go to. And make sure you don't go. Never want to go all the way around the bud. Do you? You just want to make sure you just go cover the distance around the top of that bud there. If you went all the way around it, you'd ring bark it and... These are our trees, pear trees that have been notched every third bud and they're there's one that's been notched, just there. Then one, two. That one there's been notched. You can see where they haven't been notched. The buds have come away a little bit, but only a much, much smaller length than the uh, where the buds have been notched. For example, there's one there that's been notched and the next bud there, the lower one, hasn't been notched and there's another notch there. You can see the effect of the buds coming away a lot better where they've been notched.